is what you're gonna be doing. You have to put 100 microliters of the blue one and 200 microliters of the yellow one. And you cannot cross contaminate. Here you go. My name is Gerard Kinua. I'm a student in the lab science program at Northern Essex Community College and I'm 45 years old. I came to the United States from Kenya with my family. I love athletics. I may not be very good at athletics, but I did my best. <laughs> I also love singing. Oh yes, I can sing maybe in Swahili if you don't mind. I actually won a green card lottery to come and live and work in the United States. In the United States, we have the best type of education. So I was very happy because now I had the opportunity to further my education. I was doing micro pipetting and I just filled 96 wells in two and a half minutes. I remember talking with Gerald during your introductory chemistry lab and we were talking about uh, chemistry and how excited you were about it and how much you wanted to pursue a career in that, yes. but that you were frustrated because you weren't, you didn't know how to go about doing it. They were going to start a new course we should ensure that those who go through the program would fit into the job market very, very easily, having acquired the skills that are required by the employers around. They informed me about the lab science program. We went through it with them, and I realized that it was a program fit for me. And slowly, I started having hope. As soon as he met the staff and he got into the program, he was very positive about it and I could see the energy in him to work hard. So we can dump this out. Yes. Analytical chemistry involves a lot of testing and a lot of analysis of the results that you get. It looks good. Yeah. It's exactly what we expected. In order to identify what could be present in a given sample. I really love working in the lab. You are able to see what is happening. It is very, very satisfying. One of the first meetings we had with a group of employers, mm -hmm. uh, they said we get a lot of applicants who have bachelor's degrees, who have master's degrees, even who have doctoral degrees, and they know a lot of theory, but they don't necessarily know a lot of the hands-on, and that's, yes. that, that's been the concentration of the, of the program. I've been in the program, but I'm not yet clear about what is ATE. The NSF, which is the National Science Foundation, gave us the grant through the Advanced Technological Education, or ATE, to develop the curriculum and to develop the courses for the laboratory science program, which is a program that you completed. With the money that we received from this grant, we did the curriculum development, we bought some of the equipment, and we also, you know, help with some of the training that you guys had yeah. and also some of the visits to the employers. I've built confidence slowly and, I, and now I feel very, very comfortable in this place and also in my career choice. It was quite difficult to imagine that at my age I would be going back to school you tend to think that you're done with education, but you have to look at what is best for your family. My wife and our kids, we would like to remain and live in the United States. Life is far much better than it was at the beginning. So we are fitting in well. I now am in a state of openness and optimism, so I'm ready to face the future.